Welcome back to the reality, guys. I'm your host, Brian, and today I'm talking to Summer House Martha's Vineyard. This is season two, episode eight, Gossip Girls. Um, I'm going to be pretty upfront about this. This is another kind of episode that just came and went for me. Um, I'm actually very happy that the finale is next week. Um, it is the second season, so maybe we'll get a reunion, but I just kind of am kind of not over the season, but I'm, I'm, ready, I'm ready for it to be done. Like, I just feel like it's just a bunch of bullshit. Like, I don't really care about any of these this drama i don't care about any of this fighting um i'm just i'm just over it frankly and um really only two main points today we kind of have the bria and simon talk make up did they really make up where do they go from here and um we nick being handsy rehashes again with three new girls in the house so nothing crazy to me um obviously the handsy stuff is is not good but i'm just We've already talked about the season, so I don't really care about it that much. Um, Brian and Simon, so she basically, we pick right back up where they they were yelling at each other at the end of the party. Um, and Brian's like, packs up all his stuff, and he's like, you need to get out. Um, she feels disrespected, disrespected, disrespected. Um, uh, Bria um, and Amir talk, and she's kind of letting him know like how she feels about the whole situation. Um, he Simon comes down, he kind of is like somewhat of a mediator. You think that they're going to go squash the beef right there, and as soon as he leaves, they it goes absolutely just go south again. Um, the next morning, they do talk, uh, but it really comes down to, like, she thinks that he's acting out because he can only stay three days. She wants to kick him out completely. Um, she calls somebody on the phone. She's always calling someone on the phone to vent, and um, she, the person on the phone is like, he flew all the way from Germany for this, so, I mean, be a little... You don't need to kick him completely out and maybe just just let it ride for the last two days. Um, and then other things come up, how she felt um, when they were in Germany. She was dealing with racism and um, she felt uncomfortable at some of his, his events and says, like, look, if you were you never act like that at any of your things. Um, obviously, if that's the case, that's obviously not a good thing. You don't want to deal with it. He, she says, like, since you're white, you're blind to the racism. Um, it was probably true. Um, I just don't know. We 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 weren't there. I I don't know. Um, obviously, I, if it's true, then yeah, definitely don't want to deal with that. Like she, he was talking about how she was like she always gets in. She deals with drama like head on. She like talks about it, gets in people's faces, says what she needs to say. Um, he's doesn't like that. Again, I, I just I don't, this relationship doesn't make any sense to me. Honestly, like they live on different continents. It's not going to work. So I don't know why why we keep fooling ourselves. Every time they're fighting all the time, I don't know why they're together. Um, the a lot of the cast does a bike ride through the vineyard. Um, they end up at like a lunch spot, and Nick and his girlfriend Tasia they do not participate because they didn't pack for this. Um, Natalie pulls Tasia to talk because earlier that morning, her, Bria, Shanice, and Noel were talking about Nick being handsy again and all this stuff and Natalie is friends with Tasia so she wants to like let her know like give her a heads up like what's going on and Nick's obviously annoyed about it um he at the end, episode ends with him in the kitchen with everyone basically asking all the girls like Noel like she he's like says to her like look I know you're new on the show but you don't need to do this to fit in um Shanice he talks to her I, both conversations end up i think going well where like they were just talking about in general they're not really talking about themselves and then the bria one happens and he says something to bria and she's like i wasn't talking about you they show flashbacks of her her talking about him and then he's like i don't think i've ever she thinks she says that he's flirted with her they show a couple of moments where they i guess they were flirting i mean it's just anytime that the bria, bria is involved it is just a mess and it just goes with she's like i walks walks away and it's just it's honestly drama i could care I, I just don't care about them i don't care about this obviously i don't want it to be true but like i don't care about it i don't it's just like the, we're, there's nothing going on um this season and that's why i'm just ready. i'm ready for it to end frankly just completely ready for it to end get my sunday nights back can watch something else don't have to come in on a monday morning maybe even sunday night do it but yeah um that's pretty much it uh if you have anything else you want to talk about the episode let me know i I, well, I just don't think there's that much at all. But um, thanks for watching. Uh, we should have Milf Manor out later this evening. Um, we have Milf um, 
the Vanderpump Villa as well. Um, we should have the goat out. I'm hoping today. I'm gonna see what's going on with that. Um, and we just have the start to our week again. So uh, amazing race finale is this week. So we're excited about that. Um, Vanderpump Villa, Vanderpump reunion starts tomorrow as well. And um, the Valley is got to be wrapping up soon. Uh, probably on the same timeline as. Um, Vanderpump rules. So we'll see. Um, but thanks for watching. I will talk to you guys in the next video. Have a great start to your week. See ya.